Welcome to your February reading, you guys. Good to see you. This is going to be a special Valentine's Day reading for you guys. We're going to be looking into your connection, whatever that connection is, um, whatever comes up in the cards. This isn't going to pertain to every single Libra out there, so be mindful that if this reading is not um, resonating with your connection, definitely look at your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs um, if you're not watching for those already. If you don't know those, go to Google, type in natal chart, put in your birth information, and you'll get all of your chart information, and then you can watch all of your readings all the time. Um, there's a few good sites. They will come up at first when you Google them. Okay. So this is first Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, also if it doesn't resonate for you guys, feel free to book a personal reading. My readings are, um, purchased through Etsy. Um, right now, well, so, um, I have a link in the, in the description box to, sign up for Klarna. And when you go to Etsy and you spend $50 or more, um, you can pay in payments through Klarna and they're interest free and it's a really cool deal. So if that interests you, go to my link for Klarna, sign up for that, and then you can pay payments for um, readings if that's what you want. I also make jewelry and that's on Etsy as well, okay? The link um, for the extended is in the description box, either Patreon or the one-time purchase. Um, there is going to be an extended to this, and we're going to be looking into your person's energy, how they feel about you, uh, what they're thinking, what their intentions are. This part of the reading is going to be looking into your connection and whatever spirit wants to bring up in regards to the connection as a whole. Um, in the extended, we're also going to be looking into like what the most possible outcome is for your connection. Okay. All right. Libra, you guys have a really amazing year ahead of you. If you didn't watch my 2022 prediction for Libra, please do. Um, because it was just, you guys, I don't know your energy. Things have been so good for you guys the last year. Um, prediction wise, maybe they haven't felt very good or whatever, but things, good things are coming for Libras. Okay. Anybody with Libra significant in their chart, good things are coming. All right. So the first card out we have is mask, Sh not showing feelings. Somebody's not showing their true feelings to you. Okay. They're hiding how they feel. Um, but there's unconditional love here. Yeah. Somebody is definitely looking at your pictures on social media. Okay, there's a, I think that there's a connection here that has a lot of unconditional love in it. Um, but somebody sabotaged, yeah, okay. So somebody sabotaged this connection and I think wants to rebuild, wants to work on this. Um, but ultimately, I feel like your person did something to make you uh, not trust them stabbed you in the back, made you feel like, you know, uh, they couldn't be trusted. Okay. There was something that this person did to you that really shook you. And I think it came as a big surprise. Um, but it was a type of sabotage on their repart, their, their part. Um, I'm looking at the word rebuilding. So I said that and repetitive, <laughs> rebuilding and repetitive. So I do feel like they want to rebuild things. They want to work on things and they are checking out your pictures on social media. I think that they miss you. They're, um, have nostalgia and memories and maybe they're looking at pictures of you guys on your phone, something like that. Some of you definitely could have been married to this person or been in a very committed relationship. Um, others of you, there was a breakup or a separation here. Okay. And somebody did feel stabbed in the back. Somebody felt betrayed. But like I said, this was an act of sabotage on the relationship. And somebody is still hiding their feelings on how they feel right now. They're not showing how they truly feel. There could be some addictions involved in this connection, all right? But ultimately, things are going to take time here. They're, yeah, third party, okay? getting one night stand or, or stringing along. There could have been many options. Somebody could have had options. Somebody could have tr been trying to choose between you and another person or 
entertained a third party situation. All right. And that could have been the shocking attack and what happened to end this relationship. Like I said, this person, you guys could have been married or at least been talking about marriage. If not, I do think that this person wants to rebuild and wants to offer some kind of stability to you. Um, but, you know, after what they did, I don't know if you're so open to that. It doesn't feel like it. Okay. So let's get some... Oh, what's my next deck? What do I use? Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. After a couple days of not taping readings, like, I'm like, what decks did I use again? Okay. So let's get a couple of these cards out and get some more information on this connection. What is going on? We have new life in the reverse. All that glitters. Okay. So the All That Glitters card is definitely about a mask, you know, but I think somebody wants to take off the mask. Somebody wants to reveal how they truly feel. But I don't think that, I think that you have made a decision and that you don't want to start over. You don't want a new situation here. I, I think, well, let's get some more tarot out and see, but I'm, I'm just getting the sense that you... You're kind of, you're in this place where I feel like you're, you're waiting for your ship to come in. You've got a lot of things that, you know, you're manifesting right now and a lot of beautiful things that like you are trying to call into your life right now. And I, I feel like you've made a decision about this person that you no longer want them in your life. Um, because I do feel like they wore a mask in your relationship too. I, I think that they, you know, with all this glitters call, card, it's kind of like, they made themselves seem like something on the outside, but on the inside, they were just yuck, right? And maybe you didn't notice that at first. I mean, obviously you didn't because you got in a relationship with this person. Um, and maybe you were kind of deceived by how they acted towards you and what they would say to you. And maybe they're sweet talkers, something along those lines. But there was an injustice done, all right? I'm seeing the yin and the yang, all right? So this could have been a twin flame connection. Um, but I feel like you're over with it. Like, you you felt like there was an injustice done. And whatever foundation you guys built up is now broken, okay? that And I feel like the foundation was faulty to begin with, okay? And I feel like this person refused to clean certain things up in their life. Maybe refused to stop an addiction, Maybe refuse to stop, you know, going out and partying. Whatever it was they were doing, they refused to stop it. They refused to clean up their life when you asked them to. Um, and so I think there were lots of factors of what tore this relationship apart. But ultimately, this person made a, a bad decision at the end and, um, you know, decided to make a shitty decision basically. All right. And I feel like you've made your decision that you don't want this person in your life anymore. Be in the present and dream of the future. Honesty is essential. Wow. You guys. Okay. Do something for somebody. Now I feel like you wanted this person to give to you. Um, and they, I think that they chose to not like give equally, uh, and reciprocate your energy. I feel like they, wore a mask. And look at this. This Look at this card that came out, if you can see. He's wearing a mask, okay? And he's trying to give this this rose to this girl, but her back is turned towards him, if you can see that, all right? Her back is turned towards him, and he's wearing a mask. So, <laughs> now, the funny thing is, is that we have this mask card. We have this card that has masks, and we have this card that has a mask. See a theme here, okay? This person wore a mask, did not, you know, was not honest with who they were. I think that they're still wearing a mask and still hiding how they truly feel from you. I think that they do want you back and they want to rebuild. But I think they also know how badly they messed up and how much that you are kind of turning your back towards them. That energy is here of you turning your back towards this person and just saying, I'm sorry, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't want this anymore. This card came out, it said, be present in the future, be in the present and dream of the future. 
when we dream everything is possible so with the serendipity card as well i feel like you guys are really trying to call in some beautiful things into your life and i i think that you guys are you guys have big dreams big desires um big things you're trying to manifest and and i kind of feel like this person you know messes with your energy and when this person is in your life it it things don't go well i i feel like this person is bad energy around you okay and you're trying to call some beautiful things in you're trying to better your life and make things you know um and manifest things but this person i think you know that this person messes with your life whenever they're in it so i i don't think that you want this person back okay ultimately all right so let's get a few of these cards these are my Heart with the rainbow love cards I'm using specifically for Valentine's Day I think this is the first uh, reading I've had like this where somebody doesn't want somebody back <laughs> all right let's see what's going on here tell me more about the situation spirit tell me more about the situation the moon the moon of course the moon came out all right what does the moon mean the moon represents illusions, masks, um, things being hidden, things not being open and transparent and honest. Um, it also can represent fears and your shadow side and, you know, shadow work and things like that. But ultimately, the moon is kind of like hidden, things that are hidden in the dark, things that happen in the dark that should be exposed into the light, but sometimes aren't, all right? So all of those kind of messages apply to this connection here. There were things that happened in the dark, you know, probably literally, right? That maybe were exposed, but maybe not. Maybe not to the full extent. But I do feel like, you know, something happened at the end that finally, finally broke Broke the camel's back. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm horrible at expressions and I make up my own. I'm, I'm one of those people. All right. Libra. What else here? The tower. The tower, the tower, the tower. All right. The tower's in reverse. So here's the thing. You know, the event already happened. So there was a major breakdown of this relationship. So something major happened. And that's why we have this stabbed in the back card because, you know, it was a big, it also says shocking attack on the bottom. It was a shocking thing. It was a big deal. And, you know, it ultimately tore you guys apart. It ultimately made you leave. Um, or uh, this person could have left, could have met another person and left you. Something along those lines, okay? But there was a lot of deception, a lot of illusion. Um... And, you know, I, I don't think that you are accepting this person back into your life. So let's get one more card. Damn, Eight of Swords. Wow. Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is that self-sabotaging energy. This person sabotaged this relationship, most likely because they didn't feel like they deserved it, okay? Their, their mindset was very negative at the time. I think that they have a uh, very negative mindset in general with that eight of swords energy it's it's really like a a bad mental place and it causes you to sabotage good things in your life okay so mixed with the moon mixed with the tower that is some pretty insane energy the moon the tower and the eight of swords together like wow you know lies and deception and negative thinking that leads to sabotaging a situation and um things that are hidden from you and, you know, a very shocking attack, very, you know, um, crazy ending and something that really shifted everything for good. And, you know, this was a pretty powerful thing to have happened. And no wonder why you're not wanting to get back together with this person as what I'm sensing right now. You're turning your back to them. Okay. Um, physically, mentally, emotionally, all of that. All right, so we're going to move into the extended. If you want to look into this person's thoughts and feelings towards you, um, how they're thinking, what they're feeling, um, what their intentions are towards you, 
And then also the most probable outcome of your of this connection, you know, are you going to accept the person back? Um, are they going to come towards you? You always can make choices no matter what tarot says. You are in control of your life. These cards are not. These cards are going to give you understanding, but you make the decisions, okay? You never have you never ever just make decisions based off of what the cards say. You have to make your own decisions based off of how you feel, all right? So the cards will kind of show you the underlying energies and give you some direction, but ultimately you make the choices. So with that, we're gonna move into the extended. If you wanna join me there, the links for the Patreon and the one-time purchase are below. When you sign up on Patreon right now, you're gonna get put into a drawing for a free 30-minute reading. I have multiple tiers and multiple payment options for, um, for Patreon. I have two levels where you can get a personal reading every single month for very cheap. Um, so take a look at that. I have it all written out in the description. Um, and let's see, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know how this reading resonates. I try to respond to everybody. Love y'all. And I'll see you hopefully in the extended reading, if not next month. Bye. Next, New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, um, lightning, sudden change, okay, surprise, epiphany, transformation, lots of cards indicating transformation in this person's life, okay, this person really misses you, has a lot of sadness about what happened, and they are trying to heal, they're trying to heal from whatever heartbreak they had that made them, you know, didn't make them, but put them in that place where they were willing to do something like what they did. Okay. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming. Hmm. So this one, the healing heart, it says freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So they are trying to get freedom from, or they already have. Okay. Some of them have gained a certain amount of freedom um, from what they were struggling with. Some of them are working on that right now. Okay, but they are trying to heal or they have been healing from their heartbreak, from whatever hurt their heart, you know, maybe as a child or whatever that kind of put them in that place where they wanted to sabotage a really good thing. Okay. Wow. Interesting. All right. These extendeds always have nice twists and turns. Okay.